He probably left when you had that egregious ad break. Honestly, I think uh, streamers that don't run ads have have tricked themselves. You're streaming for a long time. You gotta take some breaks. Why not run some ads, dude? Dan doesn't? That's because Dan doesn't take breaks. Like... I don't, I don't think I've ever seen the dude use the bathroom during a stream. It's, it's absurd. Face me. Face me. Especially when he's so well hydrated. <laughs> Incredible move. No, 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 I hear you, I hear you. Oh, we got him. <laughs> like, I, I know, like, it used to be, I don't want to call it common wisdom, but like... People were like, I never run ads, because when you run ads, even for like three minutes, people will leave. And I have just always, to be honest, disagreed with it. We're never going to dodge an attack here. We might as well just put up. I deserve that. Some people leave for sure. Yeah, but what are you going to do? Oh, if, if I ever have any dead air for even an eighth of a second, some people are going to leave. I guess I'll just never go to the bathroom. It's a little hard. I disagree. I respect that we're both uh, we're both talking from a position of experience for sure, but I definitely I would I would disagree with the sentiment that it's not worth running. Over. Dude, this run up is harder than Priscilla. Ten out of ten. It's worth it for you because you make money off of them. Yeah, but I mean, like, I also lose more viewership because of the ad if, under the, you know, the, the logic of not running them in the first place. Please die in two hits? Two hits? I really thought that pot was going to keep you at bay. I don't know. For me, it's like, if you're doing something else during the break, then maybe I get it. Like, oh, I don't want to run ads. Instead, I'd rather, like, keep playing Mario Maker or something. But if it's like, you know, if someone's taking, like, a bathroom break or a lunch break or something, I'm like, you should just run the ads. Hold on, I gotta resync the camera. Are you gonna have guests on Check the Wire? No. No plans as of yet. <clears throat> Dan and I were building our own thing. I didn't take too much offense to it, but I was like, man, we've recorded like one episode and people are like, you should get this person on. And I'm like, just. Just relax. Just let us do our let us do our thing. We we haven't even done two episodes yet.
Where are you? Where are you? Wait till episode two, dude. Episode two is very good. I think people that, people that liked episode one are going to love episode two. And we also left episode two. Both Dan and myself being like, we could have gone easily for like another two hours. Without a doubt. this one is episode two better than the frost punk finale um nothing will ever beat the frost punk finale in terms of pogs per second if you're a fan of frost punk that finale is everything you wanted it more. That was my Ozymandias. Oh my god, I hate this dude. <laughs> alright, alright. We're focused and ready to go. Gassed up and prepared. So the thing that's gotten me about this fight right now is I sort of don't understand how we're going to do it at all because we are fighting an enemy that one-shots us and is invisible. So I'm thinking the only chance we have is this, okay? Let me walk you through it step by step. First, we live through this. Secondly, we stack up our armor as much as possible. While still being able... To, well, that's just fat roll. <gasps> we wait for her to appear. And then just cheese the Christ out of her. I saw movement over. <clears throat> this might be close to impossible right now. Like, I actually think we're going to have to go to Undeadburg and fight Manus. No, no, no. Maybe there will be some items out. We could go to Blood Town or Blight Town too. We could go to Blight Town. I'm pogged out of my mind for 2020, Ryan Gary. Dude, I appreciate that. Thank you. It's been good, you know, keeping the passion levels as high as possible. I'm excited. Uh, and I'm trying to. I'm, I lived, bitch. I'm trying to get uh, other people to be excited with me. I do need another meme video though. I've been s don't don't necessarily pop your suggestions down because I don't love it when chat is just not suggestions or when chat is suggestions. I should say. I'll be excited too when Dan replies to me. <laughs> I understand. You gotta you gotta know. I mean, I you already know this, but I'll say it anyway. He's got a busy schedule, you know. He's got he's got his own stuff. He's got uh, he's got a family. I'm dead. He'll find a time. 
How about a mega thread on the subreddit for ideas? I honestly need to talk to the Reddit mods. Reddit has been fine, but there's still improvements to be made. The next improvement is no threads that are game recommendations. This is not, it's not toxic, it's just clutter. Put it all in a mega thread, nobody reads. No, like, it, this is gonna sound rude. Just don't post it. You can send it on Twitter, absolutely. And hey, Macros, I'm playing uh, Corruption 2029 for Northern Land Tries tomorrow. Oh my god, this cat, dude. I'm straight up not having a good time right now. I'm gonna give it like five more attempts, then I'm gonna go to Blight Town. Like, I know everybody, not everybody, but many people who comment are convinced, like, this man is one Left 4 Dead 2 series away from pogging his way to a million subscribers in 2020. A freaking Drake over there? There's E's in the wall, dude! <laughs> We're free. We can talk to the undead merchant. Oh, thank you, Isaac. The aptly named Isaac for the gift subscriptions. Now, a Sims play four playthrough, maybe. Maybe indeed. Oh, that's so lucky for me. Thank you, thank you. Excuse me, sir. Just need to sneak right by you. Loving the souls. Is there an item? There is an item. Yo, Ring of the Sun Princess. Sounds scary up here. Um, <laughs> I just, f I feel bad for this poor guy. He's so wedged. Okay, I remember you, snakes. Ooh, hold on. This, this is a, is spookier than I thought. These two hollows, dude, I don't think we saw like any hollows on our first playthrough. This is a dream come true. Wrong time to buy in. Incredible attack. It's my moment, dude. Ooh, chunks. Hello, sir. Well, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, now. Titanite shards, please. Titanite shards. First off, that's very good. That's extremely good. That's very good. That's gotta be good. 500 homeward bones? Or 5,000 homeward bone? That's a tough one. Large Titanite shards. Still pretty good. Isn't the reinforced club, like, absolutely sick? Or am I crazy? The shield? Dragon Crest shield? It's... It's one of the best for soul level one. Ah, I see. 
Yeah, I feel like I already have a good shield, but we can always come back. Here's the thing, I think the Titanite is a pretty sick deal, but we can always just remember that he's here. You know what? Don't really need to be there. We just really need to find whoever sells small Titanite. Hello, tree. So, uh, I think we will go to Blight Town. <laughs> Sewer Lady might sell them. We can't get to her, right, until we come around through the other direction. Oh, we've spoken to New Londo uh, Blacksmith. He also had a bunch of garbage. But I will say, um, I appreciate that this run is harder. I'm actually stoked this run is harder. NL, do you ever read any philosophical texts? Are there any philosophers or theorists you subscribe to or find particularly resonant? First off, didn't mean to attack you, sir. First off, great uh, and very well-phrased question. Thank you. Secondly, only one. Marcus Aurelius. That's the only book related to philosophy I've ever read in my life. Where I was like, this guy's... He's saying a lot of smart stuff. I'm picking up what this guy's selling. And then after reading uh, Meditations, I read... Uh, uh, the Enchiridion from, I forget, is that Epictetus? And I read, uh, the Moral Epistles, which I think is Sulla, I can't remember. Are you a toxic dart lord? You are a toxic dart lord. You! So, honestly, like, the... The only philosophy, I think, and I'm not saying it's the only one that works, you know, if that's even the goal. But the only one that I've ever had really uh, hit me, hello sir, is, uh, is uh, Stoicism, I guess. And Dr. Seuss, yes, and Dr. Seuss. Great, perfect timing on your part, honestly. You're making me make a really hard decision here. Ah! <laughs> That's tough. It's all right. We we can make the run. We just have to not get hit by toxic darts and sprint. What about the art of war? Um, if I ever get a job where I work in a very tall tower and wear a suit and have to commit corporate fratricide to move up, perhaps I will consider reading Sun Tzu's The Art of War. Until then, yeah, we're doing the Shard of War. <clears throat> I'm a- that's where I'm at, like... For me, philosophy to be resonant, it has to be practical. Which is- that's just my opinion. If you're not a part of that group, then that's totally fine as well. 
So any philosophy, as soon as they get into like, you know, what is the true meaning of a word, I'm like, doesn't really matter to me. When they're like, hey dude, just, uh, you know, remember that nothing you ever experience uh, can ever equal the true misery of experiencing what that which has not come to pass in your own mind. I'm like, oh shit. This guy's speaking my language. You're not going to hit me, because I'm going to serpentine. You're not going to hit me, because I am going to serpentine. Can't get me, dumbass. Try taking a ladder, you big dummy. <laughs> you can't, you're freaking... Poor seen nature will not allow it. Okay, we're almost there. Forget this. Oh, going down, sir. Going down. Now that's good timing. That's the wrong side of the elevator, dude. Is he coming? He's coming. All you gotta do is make it to the bonfire, brother. You don't have to get too precious. Fairly easy run up. That's not that bad. Okay. Small pog. Small pog on that one. Quaylong being Manus would be horrible, but at least it's a big arena. There is, theoretically, we could do it. I really, I'll be straight up with you. I just don't want it to be Priscilla or, the, or a gargoyle. Those are the big ones. I don't care what it is, as long as it's either... Well, really, if it's new, <laughs> that's the only thing that I care about. <laughs> Alright, we need both endurance and vit, for sure. Start there. And also, perhaps we could find somebody that sells freaking Titanite, dude. No. Quick sip. This, you sprint 100% of the time. Or, well, if you call this sprinting. Ah, okay. I see uh, one truly horrific creature. I see a uh, black knight, and I see a boulder. So let's hope whatever boss this is, we can beat them on the first try, because this is... I mean, it's not that bad because they're not aggroed, but... <laughs> it could get that bad. And, yes, we have no moss. Get out of here, you weird ship's mast.
Honestly, Iron Golem again would be nice. Uh, what is this creature? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are you? There's fire somewhere. It's Sanctuary Guardian. All I'll say about this is we at least have a method. So you just run, and it's a big arena. This is nice. You run, you wait for hind legs, land an attack, run away. This should stun. Oh, I didn't get the second one off. Oh, it's a hype train. I won't let you down, hype train, I promise. Free wins incoming. Drink up. There's your moment, dude. This is very doable. It is going to take a while, though, because our damage is not up to snuff. I got this guy in the pinwheel arena. All right, that is truly terrible. I think we got to double down at all. T oh, no, 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 that's, that's bad. We did not have to double down. Why double down? I mean, well, do you really want the obvious reason? Kill him twice as fast. Drink out of a normal cup? It's the same dude. It's Dab Yeater 69 I, I see you every stream, by the way. Ranger451. Thanks for the uh, gifted subscriptions. Much appreciated. Never... Necessary. Ooh la la. <laughs> Somebody come get her. She's dancing like a stripper. Um, it's always Dab Eater 69. He takes some issue with this cup. I don't understand. What's, what's your problem with the cup? It's not really a weird cup. It's just a... It's just a tumbler. Dark Spirit Maneater Mildred. That's pretty good. Hello. How you doing? I didn't. I did not hear any beeping. I did. I saw. I saw some like dry noodles on the table, and I was like, "What's going on with the yakisoba?" Ah. Ah. How's your day going, Kate? The the e bike scooter. or the, yeah. the oh like the the lime style scooters yeah yo those are becoming popular I'm like I want that mm. you know how you never got me my Valentine's Day gift hey now that was <laughs> uh, we we talked about that did we I thought we did, what did we talk about? I don't know you were a little sick and I said what do you want for Valentine's Day and then you said every day with you is like Valentine's Day that was just me being nice. <laughs> I, t I took that as a as an opening for me to be like, oh, save some money this February. You want an electric scooter for Valentine's Day?
It's winter time though. Wait until the summertime. Okay. I can do that. I can buy you an electric scooter. Do you want an electric scooter or just a gift certificate to uh, Lyft? She says she wants the scooter. Somebody come get her. She's angling for a scooter. Three minutes since you walked into my office? No, it's probably been like 45 seconds. <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you for the scooter money. Do take my soul, please. I told her, like, we... So at TwitchCon in uh, San Jose, we used the Lime. And I've said it in many Isaac episodes and streams. If those Lime scooters ever come to my city, I'm throwing them all into False Creek. I'm throwing them all off the Stanley Park seawall. I don't want to have to walk when they're around. I don't want to have to drive when they're around. But I will say... We did ride them in San Jose because my wife wanted to ride them. It was the most fun I ever had. And I have to admit, I fell over. Remember, you fell over? you didn't see because you were ahead of me. Oh my but God. when I I tried to break to go like in front of our hotel, and I I totally bricked it and like hurt my back a little bit. <laughs> How can you fall over from that? Why? Because I'm I don't know what I'm doing. No. I've, I never, I never really rode a razor scooter to begin with, it's and like human nature. and then one that's electric as well. It's like if at least if it's slow, like I'm powering it myself, I can never go fast enough to hurt myself. Oh, don't even get me started, dude. People are like, when I see people on the sidewalk when there's a bike lane, it drives me insane. You, the Kate will tell you, I could go, I could go talk for hours about that shit. Then sometimes we'll just be like out and about downtown Vancouver and I'll see people just walking in the bike lane when there's a sidewalk. And I'm like, what's your problem? Oh. It's probably been three minutes now. Such strong support. Level one completed. Texas Tech lit a bunch of lime scooters on fire last year. Honestly, like... I hope they never come to this city. They haven't made it here yet. We do have, like, the rideshare bikes, and the rideshare bikes are fine. But the... The, uh... Scooters? No thank you, please. Miss me, dumbass. I'm not gonna literally throw them into the lake. Oh my god. That was an incredible backstab. Alright, NL. You can get mad, but don't go nuclear. There's gonna be a lot of radiation emitted from that that could cause some serious genetic abnormalities. It's a metaphor. Please, I need the item. It's a caduceus round shield, dude. All right, maybe we can do a little item run. I said it because people actually do that in, in Austin. First off, you mean in Apollo. Secondly, I'm not American. Don't lump me in with our neighbors to the south. They've got their own positives and negatives. We got our own positives and negatives. This water stinks. Dude, why is there such a great... Uh, such a great I think you should leave quote for everything. This water stinks. The water does not... It reeks. The water does not stink. You're choking.
That's my favorite, my favorite sketch. I quote that one a lot, but I usually say, I'm such a big fan of his music and his acting. And, oh, that's true. Uh, what's that that is going on out there? Exactly. What the heck is that that's going on out there? What's this from? It's the Netflix original show called You, starring Penn Badgley. Son of a bitch. Just rolling. Just non-stop rolling. Full panic on display. I have I have not watched the Netflix original program You. But I do laugh. Okay, you guys aren't coming, right? Thank you. I do laugh every time I see a picture on Twitter of Penn Badgley's creepy Dennis Reynolds face. Let's go, boys. Not today. Not today. Not today, dude. Face me, coward. I can beat you. I've beaten you before. One. Two. No two. No two. No! That's terrible news, green management. That's okay. Panic jump. Hey, NL, how many channel points do you have? Um, I have... Uh, it's like eight, but it's like rotated 90 degrees to the side. I don't really understand what it means. It's like, I, I meant to talk to the wrenches about it. Because I'm like, I think you're, you're rendering the image at like a 90 degree angle. Like, it's supposed to say that I have eight points, but it says I have side eight. It looks like the Riddler's mask from 1969 Batman. Oh my god, we didn't die. Nah, it's fine. That's what mine shows. What the frick? Dude! Nobody told me if you work at Twitch, you get unlimited channel points. Hardly seems fair. Lots of people busting their ass down in the mines, clicking on those boxes, trying to get 100 points. That's how Bezos pays people. <laughs> Wrong. Um, wrong. Anyway. Did I tell you guys a story? I, terrible start, dude. Next hind legs, we gotta, we gotta sip. I, I told Malf the story for sure. How there was this dude in Canada who used to run the pre-show at the movie theaters here. And uh, he revealed that for the first year, he only got paid in scene points, which are Cineplex's loyalty currency. Now, apparently, I do want to say it was a contest. Like, if you won, you got to be the host, which is admittedly pretty fucked up. 
But then, it was also like, you get, I don't know, like a thousand scene points a week for a year or something like that. A thousand scene points is, is ten dollars. Literally illegal. I mean, I it probably is, but I'm guessing... That's the interesting thing about the law, right? Is like, it is illegal, but if you just wrote in the contract in like size one font, you agree to waive your legal rights, then it's probably good to go, right? <laughs> Walmart tried to pay their employees in Walmart gift cards. That's pretty messed up. I mean, that's not pretty messed up. That's like the most messed up thing. Like, you print the money. <laughs> Way! It is funny, though. I mean, I got nothing against Tanner Zipchin. I just think it's a little comical. Stop yelling at me to put on the speckled ring. I haven't even made it into the lightning hole in like 20 minutes. There's no need to put on the ring unless I can make it into the lightning hole. You can do it, dude. You can do it. 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 How do I stop my potatoes from sticking to the pan? While cooking? You gotta, you gotta put some, some oil on the pan. What the, are you baking it, like in the oven, or are you frying it in a pan? If you're baking it in the oven, you gotta grease the pan, but you just gotta accept some of those potatoes are gonna get stuck to the, to the baking pan. It just, and then you try to scrape it off with the spatula, and you leave the best part, the crispy part, stuck to the pan or the foil. I don't know if poise is going to help us here. I don't know if physical <laughs> defense is going to help us either. I'm frying. We'll add more oil. Whoa! I hope it helps. That's That was not even a one piece? That's a one piece because we're low on green. Didn't even hit, dude. Who even fries potatoes? I'll level with you. A lot of the like meal kit stuff we've been getting has asked me to boil and mash potatoes. And I got no problem with uh, mashing potatoes. I like making mashed potatoes. But most of the time it asks for that lately. I just dice them up and, and saute them. Takes much less time and effort. Still tastes very good. That's a double sip. God damn it, dude. <laughs> this is tough. We gotta, we gotta grind. You know what? We might be able to use a sh But what am I, I... I see what you're saying. Like, using a shield is... Uh, optim... It's a good idea. However, I'm also like, what am I gonna use a shield for against this guy? Stam regen. Ooh, you mad genius. The Sultan of Souls. Oh, son of a gun, dude. Why not check the items in the Great Hollow? So the real answer is that I should check the items in the Great Hollow. The reason I'm not doing it is because I hate this, uh, I hate this area. 
I also hate the Great Hollow. I would, I'll do it, but I, and if we have to do it, then we don't have much of a choice. But I would rather do it when I'm so strong that, and also the Lord Vessel, that's true. I would rather do it when I'm so strong that it's easy. Easier. But I'm, I'm open to feedback on this. But I, I really do think we can beat... Uh, the Sanctuary Guardian. We've done it before. No, you can't fight four kings until you get the Lord Vessel. We, we actually ran into that last time, weirdly enough. There was an impassable fog wall that was like, you can't do this until you get the lore vessel. Am I losing my mind? Oh, that was Nito in the depths. Okay. Nito. Nito in the depths. And then you go, ka -tung -tung. Nito! And then slightly quieter. Nito, Nito, and the dams. A dunk, dunk, a dunk, a dunk, dunk. Don't do it. He tried. He tried. Apollo, bless me, please. I need your blessing for this attempt. I've got a shield on my back. You can't hurt me. Said Nito, you're a fine lord. What a good lord you would be. But you surround yourself with skellies. Ooh. No, no, that's not an attack. That's a baited attack. Yeah, just... 30 or 40 more of those, we're pretty much set. Hind legs, please. Hind legs. Lo-fi hind legs to study to. If this boss didn't do that attack, he would actually be unstoppable. So when we're almost done with the poison... I gotta heal. That's, that, was, that was my moment. That was good. That was good. Get off of that staircase. Get off of that staircase, brother. Just feeling each other out. It's a, it's a heavyweight prize fight. Dumb. That was dumb. Don't. That was a good lesson. We were not punished. We were not punished for our greed. Let's never do that again. No. Thank God I put the ring on. Yeah, Titan Knight is, is the number one thing for us right now. After four swipes, you can get a swing? I'll give it a shot. I'm telling you, at least, like, the first uh, Dark Souls randomizer stream of the first seed, we did almost nothing. Like, we beat the Gargoyles. Well, the Gargoyle. And that's, I think that's it, honestly. So we've already made more progress on what I would definitely say is a harder seed. And the items have been way, way worse. What we need 
to be honest, is just a Titanite vendor. If we find a Titanite vendor, we can crank this son of a gun up to like... I don't know. Realistically, probably plus 10. And then... It's not gonna take too much. It's not gonna take too much. You gotta have brass ones. How about a uh, Titanite vendor to the tune of Bartender by T-Pain? But I only know... Sure, let's go check the chest. I think Kate's eating, so we got a little more time before our co-op stream anyway. Um, I don't know enough about Bartender by T-Pain. Because almost all of my T-Pain knowledge comes from his Tiny Desk concert. I see it. I see the item. Do not do not fear. I see that item. It is a great concert. Absolutely. I I really want T-Pain to put out like uh like a Tom Waits live album singing in the style that he sang on uh on that Tiny Desk concert. Tough ramp for those guys. I have indeed heard uh, Lizzo's Tiny Desk concert. It is, it's also up there. Those are the only two I've actually seen, to be honest. You should watch more. I know, but like, I should do a lot of things. Should do a lot of things. Iron and Wine has a good one. But isn't, uh, isn't every Tiny Desk concert, uh, there isn't every Iron and Wine concert kind of a Tiny Desk concert. It's just a, just a man and a guitar. And some iron and some wine. I got nothing against him. Large beard man. That was- that man had a beard when it was not cool to have beards. Beard coolness reached a peak in like 2013. The dude from Iron and Wine was rocking a great big bushy beard from like 2001 onwards. ZZ Top? I don't know if anyone ever thought ZZ Top was cool, though. Like, I think they're cool now. But at their, uh... I mean, when I was, like, a kid, I was not like, these are some cool dudes. I was like, what's up with these weirdos? It's true. Everyone's uncle did love ZZ Top. I got an uncle who loves ZZ Top. Soul of a hero. I need the soul of a hero at the end of the night. It's gotta be proud and it's gotta be large and it's gotta get me tight at night. You know what I really need though? I don't need a hero, dude. I need a gyro right now. I am I'm a hungry boy. Even though you had that protein bar? Even though I had the protein bar.
How do you get down here, dude? That'll work. No! My nemesis! <laughs> we got some items in there. I've been hungry nonstop since I turned 30. Dude, I'm telling you, nobody on the... Everybody on the NLSS, and this goes out to you as well, Apollo. They argue with me in bad faith. They think everything's a lead into a bit. Like I'm leaving breadcrumbs to start a bit. It's not the case. When I said, uh, is anybody else hungry at all times? After, after they've gotten older. Everybody was like, you know, here's the reason for that. I was like, no, I just want... I just want some commiseration. It's not an age thing? I think it is an age thing, though. I think the age is part of it, is what I mean. Are you done eating, Kate? Are you done eating? She said kind of. It creates uh, a, a, a situation of ambiguity for me. In many ways, I would describe that as as a non-answer. It might be a working out thing as well, of course. But I'm like, dude, I, I can eat infinite food. And that's why, like, the cut has... It's been going okay, but it's been hard because of the fact that I'm just hungry, like, all the time. Bulking is easy. You just eat until you're, like, super full. <laughs> Cutting is hard because I'm, like... My body is, like, please eat more. And I'm, like, I can't. I want to see my abs. And it's, like, I don't get it. I guess some people have, like, different problems with, uh, each one. Like, I've never had a problem with, uh, forcing myself to eat. Like, putting on weight is not an issue for me. Cutting is more of an issue. Uh, just because I hate being hungry. Especially, like, being hungry makes me grumpy. And I'm already naturally grumpy. So it's like a little double... It's a double bad. The only solution is to become mentally stronger. That's hard. <laughs> Hind legs. I always forget to eat all day. I don't know, like it's... Hind legs, please, so I can heal. It's kind of weird to say, but I always feel like if you don't eat early in the day, you don't notice your hunger as much. And just go with me on this one. Like if I don't eat breakfast, I'm always like, you know, I can make it to like 4 or 5 p.m. and be like, oh, I didn't eat anything today. No, you coward! Okay, give me one more. I need one more here. But if I eat as soon as I wake up, like an hour and a half later, I'm like, oh, son of a gun. I gotta eat again. As someone with a physical job, I notice. Well, I will say, like, if I go to the gym on an empty stomach, like, I work out, like, within half an hour of waking up. If I go to the gym on an empty stomach, I definitely noticed. 
Or notice, I should say. I'm just like, I'm in a permanent fog. Try making it through here, dummy. Okay. Do not shoot me right off the bat, please. Got him. Reverse psychology. Kate, you gotta give me one more. Are you in the chat? <laughs> I need the signal of when to pass it off. I, I, I could not hear this. Dude, I think we have to grind. Like, I think that's where we're at. I think we have to grind souls. No, we don't. We just need to figure out where the dang Titanite is. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what merchants are actually, like, accessible. Do we have to do the skip to get to Capra? Yes. I mean, it's probably better to die trying to skip a couple of times than... Uh, you know, die to Manus as Taurus Demon for four hours. <laughs> I'm telling you, once we get Titanite, this guy is gonna, he's gonna get his ass beat. Resin. Talk about your ideal pizza to summon some energy. I hate that shit, dude. I hate it! <laughs> So I understand that people are like, go check Undeadburg, like go check the Great Hollow. But like, I don't need an item. I just need a man who says, I have Titanite. What if the item is Titanite? That's, I meant what I said. Because I need, like, 30. I was thinking, like, slime? Doesn't slime drop Titanite? Can't remember if the enemy drop tables are randomized. Andre sells them. That would be true on a non-random Dark Souls run. The other thing about a non-random Dark Souls run is that none of those enemies would be here. And when you walk through this fog wall, you wouldn't get hit by a spherical unit of ball lightning. I lived? I lived? Double sip. All right, that's gotta, that's gotta do it. <laughs> Let me go check on my wife. Let's let's see what she's up to. 